Hello, welcome to SparkBird 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. In our last segment, we talked about using InkAware with our smart boards. We specifically focus on using InkAware with Microsoft Word. But today's show, we're going to focus on how to use InkAware with Microsoft Excel. And Excel, it kind of works very well with students. It's like maybe you're teaching a business class or you're wanting to develop a spreadsheet with your students. You can go ahead and use Excel and InkAware together and have your students come up to the board and interact with it. So let's go and take a look and see how this particular InkAware works with Excel. So let me go back up here. And on my board, I'm going to go and click on a Microsoft Excel document that I have. And I've got to find my mouse. There it is. And we go InkAware. Now, one thing I do want to point out to you, though, is I'm using a smart overlay board here. So it kind of interacts a little bit differently than the 600 series board that you have in your classroom. So bear with me when some things are a little bit different. And I'll try to point these out to you as, as soon as I, as I see the differences that are there between how it interacts with my studio TV and in your classroom smart board. Okay, here I have a budget request. So this could be used, for instance, a business class that you may have with your students on how to create a spreadsheet of cost uh, or budget costs with your particular students or a business that you may be uh, a play business that you may have. Now, notice here that I don't have my, my toolbar doesn't come up. My toolbar only comes up once I pick up a pen on my overlay screen. However, in your classroom, as soon as you open up Microsoft Excel, you're going to see a little window here, a floating window or a floating window that has the different tools for the Excel or for the InkAware. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of draw a little squiggly line up here. Actually, there it goes. And so now I can see the window that I was referring to. And on this window, of course, I've got different icons here. The first icon is a blue squiggly line. That allows me to insert whatever I draw as an actual drawing or an image onto my particular piece here. The second option, of course, you see there the, the icon is going to be a red A and a black A. That allows me to convert whether my printed text or my cursive handwriting and put it into a type text within my cell on my particular Excel program here. The last option that I have, or not the last, but the next option that I have is, of course, going to be what I call the Save Ink Notes. It's got the picture of the actual camera. I click on that, and it saves an image, and it puts it into my uh, smart notebook software. And of course, I have the Undo button and my Settings button. The Settings button, I don't see us really using that very often, so I'm not going to really discuss that particular piece today. But let's go ahead and interact with this piece. So let's say you're doing this budget request here, and you say a technology upgrade is going to be about $10,000 that you had. And so as you poll your students and they say, well, how much money should we put in for professional development? The students will come up with different answers. And let's say we're going to put in $5,000. Students come up with a number of $5,000. And so instead of going to your computer and typing in $5,000, you can have a student come up, grab a pen, now, what's really neat, though, is on the 600 series boards or the regular smart boards in your classroom, you have different pens. You have a blue pen, a black pen, a green, and I believe a, uh, a blue pen. Now, whatever pen that the student picks up or you pick up, it's going to embed that particular uh, color into my document. So be aware of that when you're actually inserting the document. So maybe you want it to be in red as your changes, or maybe you want to show this text here, wanted to go ahead and be in black. And so I only have one pen on my particular board to have here, so it's going to be inserted as black. So what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead, I'm going to put my pen down just for a second, and I'm going to click out in my cell over here. Actually, it still recognizes me as being a pen. So let me go ahead and see if I can change that a little bit here. There it goes. And I'm going to click in my different cells. And you can see how as I click, it, that my cells are being highlighted. So now that I have this cell highlighted, let me go back down here again. Actually, I moved it. Let me go to undo. And I'm going to grab this over here. And these are little, what we call, mis, uh, behavior problems on our board. And there it goes. And back to where I was. I'm going to select this one more time. And so now on my professional development cell under C, I have that cell selected. I'm going to grab my pen, and I'm going to say $5,000 I want to go ahead and use for a particular number here. So I'm going to go and write $5,000. 
and voila, it shows up. So what I did is I, once I wrote the $5,000 out here, I went back to my, double, my red A and my, my double A, which is red and black, and I clicked on that and inserted in the $5,000. Now with my screen today, I had a little bit of, of mis, uh, what's called uh, unexpected behavior, and that's okay. Notice I didn't panic. I tried to get it to work out what the issues were. But in your classroom, uh, the way the, the board interacts, you won't have, it's not as, as finicky or, or as sensitive as my screen is. And so you won't have as many of the same issues as, as I had today. So don't let that uh, affect you at all. Go ahead and keep trying to use Inkaware. And the more you use your computers and you use the smart board, the more you relax and uh, it'll become easier for you to use with your students and be more seamless in your instruction. Well, we hope you enjoyed, use, we hope, we hope you enjoyed using Inkaware today in your classroom. And hope you use it, and this one wraps it up for today.